and welcome back. And today I am here with Cheryl from Nonstop Paris. And tell me a little bit about your channel. Please. Okay, so I started about a year and a bit ago um, when I moved to Paris from London. So it's just like my life, living abroad, making friends in a new country where you know nobody, learning a new language. So it's quite a lot. <laughs> it's yeah. I mean, I just sh share the troubles, I share the fun bits, I share the travelling adventures. So yeah, and the best hot chocolate in Paris, which yes. you've definitely got to go and check out that video. It's amazing. Um, we're kind of going to talk about like the differences and similarities between moving from like the city to the country or the either way around yeah. or from the UK to France and just kind of moving we found. different lifestyles different locations getting established in a new yeah. place socially yeah. and otherwise so how did you find like the transition between moving from the UK to France okay so I mean I maybe if you don't mind I'll backtrack okay, a little go. bit so I <laughs> I actually grew up in the countryside, so for me the biggest move that I made, like the first big move that I made was growing up in a little town with 4,000 people <laughs> moving to London when, when I went to yeah. university and that I found had so many huge kind of culture shocks in terms of, you know, social environment, yeah. the fact that people don't say hello to you or even <laughs> or look, you, or look you in the eye. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just look down. Yeah, so these kind of things were like one of my first experiences of culture shocks and I feel like that really helped me to feel prepared for moving abroad where you've yeah. got a whole nother kettle of fish as it were. So, but moving from London to Paris, I was moving from one capital city to the other. Yeah. So it's not like I went straight away no, from my tiny little village, yeah, <laughs> my tiny little village to a, another country, a big city, yeah. like a new language. So, I mean, I was already, I'd already taken a step. Yeah. But moving to another country, it's, it is crazy sometimes. Yeah. Some of the things you encounter. So, for example, how do you pay your bills? How do you pay your groceries? Yeah. How do you do this? How do you How'd do that? How do you set up a bank account? Like, that okay. kind of. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So I, I mean, France has its own different kind of levels of bureaucracy and things that are done very differently. One tiny example or anecdote that I will give you is that when you're buying bananas in the supermarket, you don't just pick them up and take them to the till. You have to weigh them yourself. You have to stick a sticker on there and then take them yeah. to the, See, I love the checkout. <laughs> But if you're not expecting it, okay, yeah. you don't like you go up to the till. You've got a whole line of people behind you. Yeah, you hold everyone up. You c cause a big <laughs> ruckus, and you get very embarrassed. And that's just one example of yeah. one tiny thing that's different. So yeah, it's some. It takes so long to get like acclimatized yeah. and getting used to things. But like I said, I'm glad that I had that one tiny like graduation to yeah. at least living in London because I lived in London for six years. I at least had that one step yeah. towards it, but... Because I found it a bit, difficult. moving from the city to the countryside, I found it a bit like stepping back in time, yes. maybe about 50 years. Because okay. <laughs> I found like the levels of sexism, racism, okay. yes. all this kind of stuff was actually quite shocking. normal. Yeah. And that was yes. really shocking. So like a builder would come around and he would talk to my husband who has no idea about anything to do with like the house or you know anything like that i've got the toolbox it's mine i know about diy yeah so the builder would talk to my husband and my husband would just Expecting look at him and go to... you need to talk to my wife yeah <laughs> thankfully he used to say that mm. um but that level of kind of inherent sexism and racism i find quite hard mm -hmm. but also in stepping back in time you've got like you can leave your back door open yeah and no one comes in and you'd say hello to everyone you yeah. see the um, dog walkers in the streets yeah. are kind of like oh hello good morning everyone says good morning they all smile and then you go down to london you get on the tube and you smile at someone they come and sit next to you and you're like oh no 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 <laughs> i didn't mean that i was literally just smiling at you yeah and also the things that people value is very different so yeah. i find when you go from the country to the countryside you've got you know people value well in the the city people value their jobs and their um Know, their career whereas you go to the countryside people value walking their dog and yeah. their and family also convenience you know. like we yeah. don't have a takeaway we don't have you know stuff like mm. that we don't have stuff to kind of spend yeah. money on it's like i can't get the uber from yeah. the farm to <laughs> <laughs> you know people don't understand that you literally are like mm -hmm. 
living in this little kind of bubble, which is a nice bubble to be in. For sure. And it's nice to not have that convenience of like an Amazon button that you press and mm -hmm. someone gives you a lollipop. You know, yeah. I hate, I really find that kind of uncomfortable. Yeah. It's nice to maybe be on like first name terms yeah. with your postman or something like that. Yes, yeah. Okay. And he knows everyone's name. Yeah. So he like shouts your name from across the other side of the road. Yeah. And, but it's, it's but nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. I mean, I went to a tiny village school where I think there were maximum like 40 people there. So yeah. it's, you know, you know everyone's name. And I, I grew up in a culture where that was a thing and, and I, I do miss that. But I feel, I feel like in the big city, you have to kind of cultivate that culture and you have to really yeah. find people to surround yourself with. Because yeah. you can feel so lonely in a new city, yeah. especially if it's a city that's not your culture, not your language. Yeah. It, it can be all a bit too much and that's actually yeah. why I started my YouTube channel. But like, I think that's really interesting watching you with YouTube because you see like this little community that you're carving out mm -hmm. through your videos because yeah. you meet more and more people and then yeah. you kind of collaborate mm -hmm. with them and it's so nice to see this little community growing yeah. and like it's supporting like, oh, you. This new and, face. Yeah, yeah, but it's so nice to watch that happen mm -hmm. like in real life. Yeah. Obviously from a long way away. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice to see that you can create mm -hmm. that community because I think obviously moving into like a small community it's far harder to kind of say oh by the way I, I do YouTube That's true. and it's yeah. like I haven't told anyone because I can't really? bear the thought of them watching my videos oh my God. I, I literally can't think about the fact that they might like go home and watch my video and then yeah but the kids know because I do like YouTube lessons at school okay so the kids at school know I have a channel yeah so it'll probably like Go to their parents. Yeah, actually. they have watched them, but the parents yeah. haven't mentioned that they've watched them. Okay, <laughs> so that's kind of nice at the same time because yeah. it's that same thing of everyone knows everybody yeah. and, and you know nothing secret for long. Which can be very overwhelming though. Sure. Because you can kind of have like a sometimes you want privacy. you want to escape yeah. and you just need to like get out of that bubble and go yeah. to Amsterdam the yeah. weekend <laughs> <laughs> just to kind of I think sometimes it feels like you have to sort of conform almost and mm -hmm. as we've just been talking yeah. about on your channel I'm yeah. not very good at doing that yeah so I don't like to kind of meet everyone's stereotypes about what a mum who's my age should be doing what or you should be doing on a daily basis wearing. and what you should want to achieve and yeah exactly yeah. right so do you have any like tips that you would give to people about relocating to a completely different country wow okay <laughs> Yeah, just throw um, that on you. <laughs> I mean, assuming that people are going to be in the exact same position I yeah. was in, I mean, I really wish if I could go back in time is to put a lot more effort into learning the language before okay. getting there because it's so frustrating not even just knowing, you know, basic words for basic questions, like yeah. being able to, because it makes you feel so dependent on other people and I hate that. Yeah. So I, I was so dependent on my boyfriend at the time, like to get my bank account, to get a, um, a rental agreement, not just because, not well, not because of money, but because yeah. of language. Yeah. And if I could have taken that away, I feel like I would have had a much better experience and actually been able to meet more people. Because now I found myself in a bit of a bubble where I'm surrounded by expats and surrounded yeah. by um, like Americans, Canadians, people who either have English as a first language or as a very good second language. Yeah. And I wish that I could have gone in there and had connections with actual native people. Yeah. Um, so for me, my biggest problem was was language. And, and even though I knew that I wanted to go to Paris eventually, I mean, I ended up going a lot sooner than I expected. Yeah. But you know, I could have got stuck into that language learning process so much easier. Yeah. Um, Another thing is that I didn't do a lot of research before going, which is terrible, <laughs> um, which actually kind of worked out quite well with my channel because a lot of the videos that I've done, like my culture shock videos and yeah. things like that, it has been a real first impression. Like you yeah. guys have been following, or people on my channel have been following me from day one, like yeah. as a bit of an alien, you know, yeah. really seeing the perspective for like, for better or for worse, like people have laughed at me, people have laughed with me, and it has been really fun. Yeah. But I really wish that I'd known now what I'd known back yeah. then. So maybe if I'd actually prepared myself <laughs> in some way, then um, yeah. I see that's something I couldn't do because I research everything, really? like every single detail of every okay. single holiday is like researched down to the minute of the train that oh, leaves really? because that's how I deal with like. I deal with change well, yeah. but I like to know what's happening. Yeah, see I'm a turn up and get on with it kind of person. <laughs> and see, I find that really hard. I really? can't do that at all. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's totally like alien to me. But <laughs> Which is why it's pro you're probably so adaptable and so ready to 
take I things guess, on. I guess, yeah, because it's just and accepting just... that change and researching how to make that change work for you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right, I think we're kind of like... Yeah, I mean, we could go on and we on. We could really, talk forever, so. but I think that's probably not the best plan. <laughs> Everyone else will have just switched off and we'll just be like, and another thing! Yeah, <laughs> right, I need you to go and check out the video which is on Cheryl's channel, which is linked below, which is about not conforming to society's norms or... The path just, that's like prescribed yeah. to you in life by, you know, lifestyle by education by family yeah just other people's perceptions of what you should do and just not feeling like you have to live up to that so it's a really good video so go and check that out now it will be linked below and definitely check out Cheryl's channel because it's brilliant and I watch all of your videos no they're, they're brilliant because it's kind of nice as a mum to step out of the like mum bubble mm -hmm. and watch people who are actually interesting and leading different lives to the kind of life that I'm leading mm -hmm. ever so yeah. You know, I love watching her videos. So go and check out her channel and watch her videos. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe if you'd like to see more and we'll see you again soon. All right, bye.